In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can use resources in these kind of questions that you ask. Now, again, these can be used, I know in the previous video, I looked at as a, as a starter activity to do now, but it can be used at any number of uh, times in the lesson or even as a homework activity. So let me give you some examples here. So as before, you're going to go to classwork and click on create and choose question. And what's useful is if you think of, let's just say a resource that I found, I've got some um some links ready uh, to show you. So uh, as an example, if I use an image and I find a picture um, like maybe this one here, and you go to the official website that image is from, so I'm gonna click on that. Hopefully, it should go to a website that actually works and that has the picture there. And then I right click and I want the copy image address. Okay, so go back over here and I'm going to add a link. I'm going to paste that in and add link here. So it should then directly take the students directly to that image. Another cool feature is if you have a particular video that you want them to watch. And again, it could be as part of a, an activity in lesson, it could be an activity outside of the classroom. So I found a, a, a video here. So you just find one and obviously you have to be sensible about and be clever about the, the length and the duration of the clips themselves. So I find one that's not too long, three minutes long. So let's have a little watch and then th I'm gonna think of a question that I can ask the students. Life in a trench, I'd like to explain in one word, horrific. It's mud, it's death, it's rats. Okay, so I'm going to pause there. I thought of a question, so I'm going to right click here, select it, and then copy. And then I'm going to go back over to my class here. And then I'm going to add a YouTube clip. So I'm going to click on that. You can search for it or you can just go to the URL and paste it because I've already found it. Make sure it shows up here, there it is, and press add, and then you ask the question. So, why do you think life in the trenches is described as, my spelling is atrocious, but it's a good job we're on a computer, as horrific. Explain with examples and justify your points. Okay, in fact, because that's an instruction, I'm going to take that out and put it in here. Uh, remember to use peel and anything else that you want to uh, remind them, you'd throw in here as well. Now, this time, I know it's not multiple choice, I want to keep it a short answer, which is fine. So they get to see an image, they get to see a video, you have the instructions there, you have the question there as well, and you click the word, uh, sorry, the question ask, uh, once you're happy. Now, I'm gonna click on this, make sure they can't speak to each other, um, and the rest doesn't need to be changed, to be honest. You, again, you can choose class that you want and students, but it's as simple as that, just press ask. Okay, and then it'll show up here. Now, what they'll see is, uh, first things first, you'll see that the, the orders change because it's in chronological order. So the first thing you made and this, the second thing, so it's the most recent thing that says at the top, but you can move things up and down if I go here and say, move to the top. So then that way it stays in the order that I want people to look into. So you can choose to do that should you wish to do so. But when I click on this, um, obviously, the student's view will be different from your view as a teacher, but it should be very similar to this. So they get to type the answer here. You'll see all the answers here, and they'll get to see these items here. So it's very useful to have headphones in your computer lab or uh, room space um, if you are going to use uh, video resources for students to actually uh, make use of. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. So another way to use questions 
a little bit more interactivity involved this time uh, when you click on that it should automatically go straight to the the image now this is useful because then it limits them from going on anything else or get distracted by anything else um, and I believe it's been a while since I've used this it should open if you click on YouTube yep it opens it up on the page that they're on so again stops them from going on anywhere else so they don't actually go to YouTube and get distracted okay so some really cool features there that allows people to really think carefully about uh, um, how you deliver certain uh, questions. And this doesn't, it doesn't have to be limited to this kind of question. You could put que exam style questions in there. You could actually put, you know, a six mark, nine mark, 10, 12 mark question if you wanted to and put other resources there. And it could be a, a, a 10 minute activity, a 15 minute activity. Um, but that's obviously all down to you.